in this video i will be making phenol from salicylic acid salicylic acid can be easily purchased from pharmacy or can be made from aspirin tablets so over here i have 20 gram of salicylic acid that i have got for 30 rupees i placed it in a distillation flask and attached the thermometer on the top i added some water inside the trough and my short path distillation setup was ready for more efficient cooling, I placed some wet paper napkin around the receiving flask. Then I lit the spirit lamp and started heating. Soon the salicylic acid started melting. Salicylic acid decomposes at 200 degrees Celsius to give phenol. This reaction is called a decarboxylation reaction. I covered the flask with aluminium foil so that Vapor of phenol could make up to the top. I collected everything that came over between 170 to 220 degrees Celsius. But after some time, the temperature in the thermometer started following even below 180 degrees Celsius. And this tarry substance was left in the flask. So I stopped heating and let the apparatus cool. In the receiving flask, I got some white solid along with some liquid. The phenol is impure. It has some water that was formed by a side reaction occurring between salicylic acid and phenol to form phenyl salicylate, which accounts for low yield of reaction. Phenyl salicylate has a high boiling point, so it was left in the distillation flask. I cleaned the distillation flask. Now to transfer the product into the distillation flask, I am placing the receiver flask into hot water to melt the phenol, after which it can be easily transferred into the distillation flask. There is a white chunk in the flask that hasn't melted, which means it is salicylic acid. Anyways, it was also transferred in the flask and like before, short path distillation was set up. Initially water came over. Phenol has a boiling point of 182 degrees Celsius. So when temperature in the thermometer went up to 180 degrees Celsius, I changed the receiving flask and placed a paper napkin to cool the flask and collected everything that came around 180 to 200 degrees Celsius. When temperature started rising above 200 degrees Celsius, I took out the flask. It had some clear distillate. I was greedy so I again started heating and this time I collected everything in a test tube until the temperature started falling below 180 degrees Celsius. In the test tube I got around 1 ml of phenol with some crystals of salicylic acid which I kept aside. Phenol has a melting point of 40.5 degrees Celsius. The room temperature was around 28 degrees Celsius but still it wasn't freezing. So I stored it in a glass container, but the next day it automatically freezed. The final yield was 5 gram, which corresponded to percentage yield of 37%. This is the aqueous distillate that came below 180 degrees Celsius. It is contaminated with small amount of phenol. I upload videos every Tuesday, so subscribe to my channel. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.